Hey, Lupon here. I want to go over how you can use the Alive Checker and the Link Checker for Scrapebox White Hat purposes. So, the Alive Checker lets you run a list of URLs and it will tell you if they are alive or dead. Now, if you've used the Alive Checker in the past, um, it was fairly basic, and it still is, but there's been a recent update that allows you to have a little bit more control over it, which is pretty nice. So, we go to Add ons. If you don't have it installed, show available add ons, and then um, pick your add-on and install it. In this case it's already installed so I'm just gonna go here and do uh, a live check. And so it's pretty basic. You would load in a list of URLs. Uh, you can do that bringing them in from the harvester or from a file. So in this case I'm just gonna go back here and I've got one of my domains here and I'm just gonna pull a site on that just so I have some URLs to work with here. So I've got 48 URLs. Um, if you have a sitemap you can use a sitemap add-on to scrape the sitemap from your site and then you'll have your entire site listed there. Um, you could also use uh, this this method here or you could use the link extractor uh, like I mentioned in one of the prior videos and just keep running your domain through it and extracting internal links and you'll have your list of sites. So say you had tons of domains or tons of pages on a domain that sort of thing and you just want to check and see if they're alive. Uh, broken link checker or just uh, for various purposes. Uh, you can bring those in here. I'm going to load them from Harvester. Since it's all my one domain, I don't want to hit it with too many connections. Uh, so I'll just do that. And start's pretty basic. Recheck fails, pretty basic. Whatever fails, you can recheck um, if it fails to load altogether. This is going to tell you if it actually loads, it's going to say alive or dead. But if it just simply doesn't load, then you can recheck the failed. And then once it's done, you can transfer back to Scrapebox or to your hard drive, export as an Excel spreadsheet, that sort of thing. Um, but there's some new options which allow you to specify the server status codes that show as alive. So right now, anything that comes back with a uh, 200 is going to show as alive. Now if, you, if you're familiar with this, that's great. If you're not, if you actually go back here to the add-ons menu where you are installing it, under a live checker here, there's a link for the Wikipedia article that lists all of these status codes. So that could be handy for you. However, 200 is just going to show as alive. Of course, 200 status okay. Um, you can follow redirections, so by default, if one of these URLs is redirected, uh, it's going to show as dead. Um, if I choose to follow re the relocation, then it will follow the redirect until the, page, the URL finally resolves to the end URL, and then it will specify whether the end URL is alive or dead based on these status codes. So if I wanted to say that um, some other status code, for instance, like like say 302 or something, temporarily moved. Say for whatever reason I needed to specify that as alive, but I didn't want to follow it. I could do that. Or if you wanted to do it in reverse, so say you wanted to put 404 in here, because say you had a bunch of 404 pages on your site that you were trying to fix, and so you had like 100 of them, and you thought you had fixed them all. Well, you could run them through the live checker, but you could actually put in 404, and then anytime it showed 404, it would show a live. So basically, it lets you put in a status code, and if it says alive, it matches that status code. If it says dead, then it does not match that status code. So you can actually use it for more than just checking to see if a URL is alive or dead. You can actually check. Um, against a list of status codes to verify that that URL is that status code or not. So we'll just leave it at, at 200. Um, I'm going to say follow relocation and I'm going to hit start. And what it's going to do here is it's going to load my pages and then it's going to come up and tell me that they are either alive or dead. And so I'll pause it for a second here while it does that. Okay, and so it completed and I've been messing with my site here um, so I've actually got some dead URLs that I've got to fix um, which is fine but you can see that it is either alive or dead, pretty basic. And then you can export those, transfer them back, that sort of thing, the alive ones, the dead ones, and all that sort of stuff. And the other thing to keep in mind is that um, you can hit the recheck failed, and so it'll double check them because you might want to keep in mind that if it's all one domain, like your domain, and you're hammering away on it, the server could actually reject some of your connections, in which case those could come back as dead. Um, but you can recheck the failed just to be on the safe side and see that it wasn't your server. You know, if you have a bunch of domains in here, it's probably not going to be an issue. 
but if it's all from one domain, definitely might be worth taking the time to hit recheck failed and let it do that. Another thing you can do is use the link checker that's built in to make sure your links are still up. So according to Google's uh, guidelines, it says that um, you're not allowed to buy links for SEO purposes to like increase page rank and that sort of thing and manipulate the search engine results but it also they also say that buying links to gain traffic is natural and they should be rel no follow so for the purpose of this video since we're talking about white hat i'm going to assume that you have purchased some links and they're all rel no follow but you want to check and make sure that they're still up so say you have a list of a hundred uh, URLs, links that you've purchased that you're getting traffic from, and you want to check from time to time to make sure that they're still up. You can use the link checker to do that. Pretty basic. What you do is you load in a list of websites. This is going to be your website, so this would be your link, so yourdomain.com, and the blog list, so that would be the actual list of sites that you want to check and see if your link is on. And so I loaded in just a, a bogus list here. I'm just checking my own domain for my own links, just so you can see the concept. But you hit check links, hit start, and it'll go through and check links. And of course, it'll say found or not found. And so any not found URLs, links that are supposed to be there that you've paid for, you would want to go check out. Of course, you could use this same concept with the link checker to check for all kinds of things to check to see if, um, you know, any paid links, any traded links, any of the rel follow rel no follow links and it'll check do follow links as well just google says you're not supposed to do that of course but um so any of the links that you have purchased or have put up or traded for or say you've put links on some of your other sites to you know cross linking between your sites for related products you're selling or that sort of thing um, or if you have a list of related products and you're not sure if you've already linked to it or not. So if you have a site selling blue widgets and the site selling wedge yellow widgets, maybe you want to see if all the pages of blue widgets say, you also might want to check out this site where we're selling yellowwidgets.com. And so you can just put in yellowwidgets.com here, and you can put in all your blue widget pages here, and you can check to see if you have a link on there so that you're cross-promoting. Um, lots of different uses there. And then the other thing that's great is it'll give you the anchor text as well, as long as it's a properly formatted link. So those are a couple ways that you can use the Alive Checker add-on and the actual link checker for white hat purposes to check to make sure your links are still up, cross-promotion to check for the fact that your URLs are actually live and not broken, um, and all those sorts of things. And that is another installment of Scrapebox White Hat.